Hey, it's Jason, and in this video, we're going to customize the site now that we have it in the account, the Groove account. So I'm going to jump back over to uh, Groove. If you notice, I'm in uh, Chrome because Groove works best in Chrome. I think it might only work in Chrome efficiently. So uh, don't try to use another browser. Browser. Make sure you're inside of Chrome uh, if you're using Groove. So uh, back in Chrome, back in Groove, uh, in the editor we left off on, and uh, we're going to be talking about customizing this theme so that it, it's our agency site now. So first thing you're gonna do, um, I like to customize sites kind of from the top down. So you're gonna edit the phone number. So this up here is the phone number to edit anything uh, and you'll get used to this after you do it a couple times. Uh, it's pretty easy and intuitive. You just highlight uh, a block. It will turn pink kind of around the edges and now I'm editing it, you see? So I can change this to any phone number. Um, this would be the phone number for my agency. I would just change it there. And then I can also double click on it, click on this little link um, icon right here, and I can make it a hyperlink. Um, that wouldn't actually be a telephone phone number hyperlink, so I would type TEL colon uh, plus one, and then I'd push enter, and now it turns into a telephone link. See that? Uh, then I would come down the page, uh, change the, phone, the email right here, so phone number, email, and that's gonna be the, the top customization, okay? And you'll do that on each of these pages. Click on this page. Um, you can see it, it hasn't changed, so you'll update the phone number and email here. Uh, same thing on these pages as well, okay? And then uh, next, you're gonna edit the logo. So uh, Joe already has great training on how this logo is created and how to create a tra uh, logo, so I'm not gonna cover that but I'm gonna show you how to change it. So you click on it just like you clicked on the text block and now it's bringing up this pane over here on the right and you click configure, uh, choose image and then you can change it to anything. You see, you can click on, um, this is a, a different account that I'm in now. Um, I could change it to this logo if I wanted. You see, click on it. You can also upload a different logo, select and then update. And just like that, uh, it's gonna change the logo um, I can even resize it, grab this little bar, this little box right here, shrink it down, see? And now there's a totally different logo in there. Uh, so that's how we change the logo. Um, we don't need to change the navigation, but if you do want to change something in the navigation, if you want to change it, make it say testimonials instead of reviews, uh, just click on the page, uh, go to the page, click on pages right here, click on the three dots, click edit settings, okay? And you can change the page name. This will be what the navigation actually says over here, page name. You can change this, click in here, say testimonials, see? Or maybe you just want it to say reviews, whatever you want it to be. You can change the page URL, you can change the page title, anything in here. And then click this uh, little checkbox and that will save the settings, okay? Uh, so that's how you change navigation as we work down. Uh, if we wanna change this, um, these pages were all SEO optimized too, so this is an H1 tag that we're editing right now. So if you live in um, Miami, you could change this to Miami. All right, Miami, Florida, uh, maybe Boston, okay? Whatever uh, city you live in, you could change that. You could make it say SEO experts, whatever keyword you're targeting, uh, put that here. Uh, you can change this text the same way, okay? And then the phone number for a button, these are actually buttons. If you click on this, it's going to um, highlight the button, click on configure on the right, and you can change uh, the text right here of the button. See, give it an area code, put the phone number in, click link to a URL, and I can type in uh, that phone number text again to make it a clickable phone number, TEL colon plus one, put in this dummy phone number for this example, click update. That's how we customize any of the buttons, just like that. See? And we can scroll down the page. You can see I've put some of the uh, info from Chimera Media just for an example, and then some of it is dummy text like this. We can click on the text, we can make changes to it, um, whatever we want to do. See? If you ever want to, uh, if you're editing things and you ever want to kind of back up, this is an undo button right here. Okay? Undo and then redo. And then, uh, that will, that will kind of undo your thing, so. You can edit images, okay? Just like you edited that logo, text, and any of the other elements are gonna be what I just showed you. So images, text, 
anything in here, see, images and text. So you'll edit uh, these, you can put testimonials in it if you have them. You can also, if you want to delete a whole section, let's say that you want to just get rid of this, you can click on this pink box right here and just click this little trash can and that will delete the whole uh, highlighted section. Okay, and then make sure to put your email down here and your phone number down here. Uh, and that is it for editing this page. Uh, and then you're gonna click through pages, click on pages, about us, and make sure you make the same edits. Make sure you change your logo out and these other settings when you make changes to these. Okay. We're just gonna kinda look through the pages and I'll just um, show you what they look like uh, in a bit more detail than we did in the overview. Uh, so again, you'll edit these uh, features up here. Okay. And you can leave some of the copy the same if you want. You can um, uh, change it. The dummy text will need to be changed, but you can leave these headers the same if you want or change them. There's the reviews page. You could change these to um, actual reviews you have, uh, pictures of, of clients or their front of their business. Okay, and then the final page is the contact us page. Uh, pretty important page. Just make sure you're, you're, if you have want to put an address on here, you can put it on here. You can also delete that element if you don't want to put that there. Put your phone number here, make it clickable. Put an email here. And then uh, you can also edit a map element here. This is a cool element. If you click on this, this map element, click configure. You can type uh, the name of your, you can actually type an address into here uh, or a name of a business and it will pull it up. Like, um, let's see, McDonald's. Let's see if it pull up. Let's see if it'll pull up a McDonald's. Update. Yeah, so it's finding McDonald's near me. Um, but if I type in a specific address, it'll actually uh, it will actually show that specific address. So it's a pretty cool little map element that you can edit, kind of show people where you're at. So I could even just type in. I think I could type in like Boston. Let's see if let's see if it'll just show Boston. Yeah, look at that. So you can just show them what city this is. So there you go. Um, so that's it for customization. Okay. So you're just going to kind of work through the site and you can see it's not, not heavy customization. Um, and, and that's about it. So let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video.